Okay. We're machining the shovel head for dual plugs. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, all set up here in the milling machine. We've got a particular angle we like to use. It seems to work a lot better than everybody else's. Uh, I'm, I'm in process of uh, putting, a, putting a hole in now, and I'm going to go ahead and cut a little metal for you. break it off and come back when I get that down a little deeper. started do, doing these uh, is uh, we would machine down to a place where we knew we st still had plenty of metal and uh, we drill the hole and then we'd go back in and machine again and measuring with a you know with a measuring device to be sure we got just the right thickness uh, since that time we've been able to uh, after doing a, a few hundred of them you get to a point where you don't need to measure them anymore and uh, so we, we can cut the time a little bit by you know, by knowing just where to stop, which is right there. And uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the drill bit in it and uh, punch a hole in it. Okay, here we go. You ready? Say when. Go. All right, we're going to drill it. get the head in place before I get the you know next operation underway. Seems to help a little bit in, in that I don't have to do things twice. Okay this head's ready to go. I'm gonna take it off. gather all the tools, you know what I mean? But uh, that's sort of how the job goes. So, you know, I kind of gather my tools as I'm, as I'm uh, doing it. In the shot? Get over here where you, you want to take a look, see in there? Come on up and look at it from the top, too. You know, we'll be taking some more looks at it as we go, so you don't have to stay here too long. 
in order to do all this stuff. Are you shooting? Yep. We got to clamp this head down to the, to the bench real firm and uh, start breaking out all the stuff. It takes a wide variety. Check my stuff to be sure it's working. Probably have to gather as I go. Let's see, for starters. Okay, we're still gathering stuff. We make all these fixtures ourselves just to make sure that everything is perfectly straight. You see how this fits? There's no slop at all in it. First thing we're going to do is put some threads in here for our inserts. I guess I ought to show you guys the inserts. I'm sure you'd be interested in that. We use these time inserts. Just about anybody can, uh, you know, can get them. They work real well. However, we do have one trick that we recommend. Next step is to cut a little recess. Now these cutters come with a, um, they tell you to uh, go down there and cut until you feel comfortable with it. What we've done is we made a little shim on here that stops the cutter in, in precisely the right place. Something that this kit doesn't come with, by the way. doing now is cleaning the oil off these threads, make sure they're nice and clean so that this, this Loctite works. You can look see in there and everything looks really nice. No broken chunks of threads or anything. That's what the oil is good for. It keeps the, uh, we put it on the tap as some special uh, space age stuff that that uh, keeps the uh, the cutter from ripping up the threads as we as we make them. Uh, let me get some inserts for this job. I think they're under here somewhere. Get low. Whoops. found that works the best to uh, put these on with is a spark plug with a special washer on it. You can always lube the plug, screw the insert on, make sure it goes up against the washer, square it up, take the Loctite, Case. In this case, we're using the green stuff. It's, it's by far the best for this kind of uh, high temp situation. And we also put it in here on these threads as well. Beautiful. Are we rolling again? Mm -hmm. All right. We're getting ready to put this guy in here. We'll start it with our fingers. I've done so many again that I know exactly how much torque I'm putting on this thing. We're giving it about 20 pounds. Okay. 
Next thing we're going to do is run this little expander tool in there. Uh, the problem with these expander tools is they don't expand quite enough. And we've had problems with the inserts coming out, so I've developed a, another little trick that, uh, that I do to them, which I'm going to show you here in a minute, to make sure that they don't come out. However, that doesn't mean that if you guys get your motors hot and you've got to pull the spark plugs out, that it, and, you know, they're guaranteed to stay because they're not guaranteed to stay. I've been fixing everybody's that, that did come out. But you've got to wait your motor cools down to take this right side plug out. Just for safety's sake. I know you guys don't want to have any problems and that's, that's one way to have a problem. Okay, next thing we do is uh, do our little, our little brooch trick on it. This is our little brooch trick. As well as this, uh, this expansion tool, which doesn't work as good as I wish it, it did. We have this little brooch trick we do on them. And we expand them from the inside. tap on this thing till, till it sounds good to me. I'm kind of kind of comfortable with it. When I'm satisfied it's not going anymore, then I stop and take it back out. Yeah. And what that does is that spreads it spreads it out real good. Then we clamp it back down. And just to be sure everything is nice and bitching, we go in here with this other little tool and fixture that I've made and run the tap back to it. Just to be sure. on the list in this little process of events is where's my little brush here we clean all the all the stuff off of it with a little carburetor cleaner and we're done now you're gonna get a picture of this thing you got enough light How's this? Got enough light there? Clean as a whistle. And if you guys follow the instructions, they'll be in there for life. We just deburr these a little bit so we don't cut our hands when we're working with them. These things are sharp. Just like that. Gonna flip the thing around. We've got a little cleaning up to do in here. a nice little smooth taper there. We're going to put a polishing wheel in there and polish it up. As you can see, if you pull back a little bit, that thing's too dirty to get a good picture of right now. Uh, but if you if you take a look at this combustion chamber, you'll notice that the spark plugs are almost exactly the same height from the from the uh, surface of the head. Th that's the object is to get the things at basically the same distance away from the piston.
there it is. I'd call that finished. Clean some of the, the crap out of the threads and screw a plug in it and we'll show it to you again. Okay. And there we have it, folks. Just as perfect as could be.